What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is really just going to show you how I accomplished this look. Actually, when I was filming this look, I did my makeup, did my eyelashes, and then my friend got here and we went to breakfast and then I filmed my, in my outro or whatever you want to call it because I was running a little behind. But, so, this is my favorite look so far right now. It's more of a neutral peachy type look, and I'm obsessed with it, so I had to film this look for you guys just to show you how I accomplished it. And I always pair it with my favorite lashes ever, my Kiss Lashes in the Style Boudoir. But, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go do my base makeup, and when we come back on camera, you'll see my base makeup done, and we're going to move straight on to the eyes. Okay, y'all, so this look isn't super complicated, but I'm obsessed with it. I don't know why. I usually do not do the same look twice. But I'm so obsessed with it. Like, I love it so much. I just like to do it multiple times. Also, my spray tan still looks like shit, y'all. As you can tell, it's still coming off. So I'm going to apologize for that now. And it is officially day seven of me going on being sick. So if you hear me sniffling, coughing, or dying in the background, it's okay. I'm perfectly fine. Not really. But, so for this um, look, I used just single eyeshadows. So if you would like to go buy them, I'll name which ones I use as I use them and what brand they're from. But these are the best freaking single eyeshadows to have. You can combine them with your palettes or just for looks like I'm about to do. But I am going to talk you through this tutorial for the eyes like I normally don't do. Just because I did not do my whole face on video or anything like that. And I'm so obsessed with this look. I really want to share it with you guys too. And I want you guys to use it as well. Because honestly, I can wear this look out with my normal lashes that I've been pairing it with lately. And be all glamorous and be like, hello hoes, I'm here. Or you can just literally top it with mascara or a less dramatic pair of lashes and be like, hey hoes, I'm still here and still looking good. So yeah, I am going to do this look and I will show you the brushes I use because I normally have been slacking off about doing that lately. So let's get this show on a roll and... I'm going to show you my simple yet glamorous favorite freaking eye look of the moment. And yeah, so let's get this shit going. Okay, so if I were you guys, when you buy these, especially the eyeshadows from MAC, you can get them either, it's like for $7 and it's called the Pro Fill Pan ones, which is the ones where are just a magnetic thing. They don't come in a container that you can unclip open or anything because those are $17 more dollars. So you were paying 10 extra dollars just to have it in a fucking thing. So if I were you, I would just go buy a magnetic palette. This is a ColourPop magnetic palette. You can get it for about $10. You can even get Z palettes or anything like that for very inexpensive and it beats having to pay extra to get the other MAC ones and paying 10 extra dollars to have it in a container. So these palette eyeshadows are very cheap. The MAC ones I think are $7 a single shadow and the Makeup Geek ones I think are six or seven dollars as well. So, I use these four colors and these three colors. So let's get this shit going. So okay, so I'm gonna pick up the first one I use. It's actually from the Makeup Geek side. And the first color I pick up for my transition color looks like this. And it is the shade Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. I love this for my transition shade. It's much like the um, orange soda one out of the Soft Glam palette. So if you don't have it, you can always use your Soft Glam palette for this. And for my transition shade, I always use the same brush, and I swear by it. It is the Morphe M504 brush, and I'm going to take this big fluffy brush. And as you wash it, it does get fluffier, so I do recommend washing your brushes before you do this look or before you even use them after the first time you get them. So all I'm gonna take is this peach smoothie and I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid. I always put way more than I probably should, but it is your transition shade, so you're not gonna see it that much. It just kinda helps tie everything together. Okay, and 
also when you're doing your ah oh, my nose is so snuffy 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 <laughs> no when you're doing this make sure to blend it and keep more of the eyeshadow down towards the bottom and as the eyeshadow starts coming off your brush blend it towards your brow so after our transition shade is in full effect i pick up another makeup geek shadow it looks like this and it is also the shade Cram brulee from makeup geek it is a kind of a very 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 warm soft brown color if you can tell and i love this shade but all i'm going to do is pick up my morphe m433 brush and i just put this in my crease and I kind of blend it upwards, not as far upward as my transition shade goes. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna blend this shit into our as and get this show on a road. Fuck! Get this show on a roll! God, I keep fucking that up. I fucked it up in my last video too. I'm so sorry, guys. I hate myself just as much as you guys do. This look kind of just, or this part kind of just helps warm up the eyes just a little bit and gives it more of a peachy type look. Honestly, I love the peachy looks. Super in right now. So this part is crucial. Now it's time to laugh at me because I'm going to put a, another fucking color into my transit or into my crease, not my transition shade because that would be a fucking lie. So I'm gonna put this next color into my crease as well but I'm gonna be using a more fluffy brush. It's actually the brush that comes out of my soft glam palette, and I'm gonna use this fluffy end right here to do so. And this, this uh, eyeshadow also comes from Makeup Geek. It is in the shade Barcelona Beach. It is a like very taupey, I don't even know how to like, it's just a nice cool tone brown. I love it. But yeah, it is called Barcelona Beach, if you didn't get that the first time I said it, because I'm super obnoxious. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this and put this in my crease as well, but focusing it, not blending it all the way down to the inner corner of my eye, because that leaves your eyes looking very closed off. We want to open up our eyes, especially if you're wanting to take pictures or anything. So what we're doing is we're just blending this from the outer corner more to the middle of our eye, because literally... Try it sometime. If you put such dark colors on the inside of your eyes, you're closing off your eyes. So we're trying to avoid doing that. We want to open up our eyes and look beautimous. Duh. But yeah, we're just going to take that, dab our little brush in it, and blend. Once again, blend that shit. Blend until you cannot blend any possible of more. That didn't make sense. blend until you cannot blend anymore I swear to god like just, you can literally never blend too much just fucking blend it all and once you start getting that blended right there kind of blend it upwards just so everything comes together literally when i did this eye look yesterday i probably sat and blended my eyeshadow for like 30 minutes i swear to god i just took my damn time and it looked like it was blended to the heavens. Before I do a next couple of things on my eyes, I do like to plop a more neutral color on my lid for this look. And this time I'm going to move into my MAC Cosmetics Single Shadows. And this is the MAC Cosmetics Single Shadow in the um, shade Grain. And I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a nice light neutral color. And all I'm going to do is take my Morphe m167 brush it is a flat brush and i'm just gonna plop this down on my lid and call it a day so let's just take that shit doo -doo -doo -doo, and put it on our lid i also i really try not to get this into my crease shadows i don't know it's almost like I do it as almost as if I'm like trying to do a cut crease. I like avoid, ugh, I avoid getting it into my other shadows. I don't know why. 
I just keep turning this camera around. Okay, I really gotta stop. I'm annoying. But yeah, so I just plop this shit down on my lid, pack it on there so we have a nice neutral color base. It looks so good for all eye types. So this next part is kind of optional what brush you want to use. I'm very, I don't know, I'm very detailed with this part. I don't know why I like, I'm just a stickler on doing this. So I'm actually going to pick up another Makeup Geek single eyeshadow and it's in the shade Frappe. It's another brownie warm tone color. And all I'm going to take is my Morphe M506 brush. I typically use this when I use my, ooh, I typically use this when I do my cut crease or anything like that. But really what I like to do is I like to put some of this product onto it. And I like to blend it a little bit into my crease, kind of lining this darker color right here to give it more depth. But then I like to take a little bit and almost putting it as like I'm darkening up my corner, but very, very lightly. If I can do this on camera and you guys can see it. Oops, my bra strap's showing. Oops. Um, hopefully you guys will kind of see what I am talking about. But I just like to darken up this, like, I don't know. I like to line the area where my crease is at, where them single, like, darker shadows are in the corner. Just to give it more depth. If you guys understand this, thank you. Yay. If you don't, I'm sorry. I'm a mess. I'm not really good at explaining anything. But I just really like to darken up the corner kind of line it fuck i like lining the corner to make it darker okay that would sound a little bit better and just to i don't know it just it just looks pretty let's be honest i'm trying to sound like all professional and say like let's give it more depth no it just looks nice so <laughs> and then i just take it on my brush and i kind of just dab it around not being super precise but it kind of adds a little bit of darkness to the corner but it's not like a dark black or brown that we're adding to it. It just, I don't even know. It just blends so nicely. Also, I have foundation all over my lips. So, look. and yeah. Hope you guys enjoy that. And I just like to keep adding more until I am completely satisfied with how it is coming out. You probably can't see anything. It probably looks like I'm doing nothing on camera. But I promise, I swear by it, it looks great if you actually do it. So this next step is kind of optional once again. You could do this with a liner or a charcoal liner if you want to, but I like more of a brown smoked out lash line. So this is, oh shit, this is all over my hands. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, it's just all over the pan, so I can't even avoid this at this point. This is the Embark shade. This is from MAC Cosmetics, and I'm gonna take my Morphe M43, I just spit, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna take my Morphe M432 brush and I'm just going, I'm going to, god damn it, I suck. I'm going just to put this on this brush and line my lash line and kind of give it out a smoke. <laughs> I'm going to give it a smoked out effect. Okay, enough of that bullshit. I'm just going to give it a smoked out effect and then once I get up to this corner or like my outer corner, I'm going to darken it up a little bit more and kind of flick it into the corner it just gives it a smoked out effect once again i'm just gonna shut up because i'm doing the world's worst job at explaining myself that's fucking gross okay no but if you are not an eyeliner person i really don't like wearing hardcore dark deep eyeliner I don't know. Depends on really what I'm going for with my look. It could either look really, really good or like absolute shit. So eyeshadow for eyeliner is my go-to because I don't know. I just like simple shit. But always I really do like to darken up this lash like with it. You know how I'm trying to like smoke it out, right? Okay. Holy shit, my eyes look blue. I like to make it darker on the outer corners of it though, because it doesn't have to be as dark on the rest of your eye, but it needs to be darker at the very outer corner. And then I'm gonna take some more, and as I pack it on to this outer corner of the eyeliner that I'm trying to do with eyeshadow, makes sense, right? 
and I'm just going to flick it into the outer corner, kind of blending the colors together, but giving it a more darker yet more natural look. Makes sense? Probably not. But yeah, so just do it. So for my inner corner and my brow bone, I usually go in with my Flexitarian ColourPop highlighter because it's so bright and it just looks good. But yeah, this is it once again a simple look. So I'm gonna take up my MAC Cosmetics single eyeshadows again. And this is in the shade Naked Lunch. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And I'm gonna take my Morphe M213 brush and just plop this on the inner corner of my eyes. It's not super dramatic or bright, which is kind of key to this look because we're not going for a simple glittery, or we're not going for more of a glittery popping look. This is really simple, sexy, and it just looks great. For my brow bone, I go in with my, um, this is from Urban Decay. I think this is from the first Naked palette, maybe the second, I don't remember. And I just do this and I do it on my brow bone because it's just a nice light color and it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but nothing too dramatic and overpowering. Moving on to my lower lash line, the first thing I'm gonna pick up, ooh, if I can pick it up. Wow, shitty lighting, okay. So my first one I'm gonna pick up is the Barcelona Beach, once again from Makeup Geek, using my Morphe E18 brush. And I'm just gonna put this all on the lower part of my lash line and kind of blend it downward just so it's like almost like a transition a fuck it acts almost as a transition shade for your lower lash line okay so once we got that going on uh i do mine in such a weird order i'm going to take up that dark shade from mac cosmetics called embark with my Morphe M432 brush, the same one that I used to line my lashes with this color. And I'm going to line my bottom lashes with it and almost pack it onto my waterline once again to act it as eyeliner. This shit always gets in my eye. I fucking hate it. Huh. Okay. So now once we got eyeliner on with eyeshadow, pretty fucking convenient if you ask me. I'm gonna pick up that one blending, like nice little eye pencil that we use. The Morphe E18 brush once again. And pick up another Makeup Geek shade. Oh my god, what is with the sliding right now? Okay, there it goes. And it is in the shade of Frappe. Oh shit. It's that warm, warm, warm brown. And I'm just going to put this back onto the lower, on the part of our lash line. Just to tie in all the colors. So it doesn't look like I have a harsh line of eyeliner. I probably won't film myself putting on these lashes, but this is also something that's very optional. If you're not a girl of lash, or you're not a girl who loves lashes like me, I like to top all my makeup looks off with them. That's me personally. If you don't, that's good. Pop on mascara and you're good to go. If not, let's grab some lashes. My favorite lashes right now come from the freaking drugstore. They are the Kiss brand, and this is their Lash Couture Fox Mink Collection, or is it Foul Mink Collection? I don't really know how you say it. And this is in the style Boudoir. If you can see, they're such a nice, wispy type lashes. And I literally feel like they're just gonna fly off my eyes like butterflies. Like, they're just so freaking pretty. I wish you could see these up close. I might attach a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. They just like, they're just so naturally beautiful. One thing I will say about these is when you get them, um, a trick to getting the band to kind of loosen up because it's a thick band. I What I normally do, I'm not going to video myself putting these on. Don't worry because that would be a hot mess. And that would take like 20 minutes of footage that I don't freaking have because I suck at putting my own eyelashes on. Yes, that is a fun fact. I can do anybody's eyelashes but my own. So one trick I do to these because when you'll see when I take them off how stiff they are. Ooh. Okay, how stiff these are. 
I take them around my thumb or any other finger and I just kind of bend them around just to loosen them up. Like they're literally sticking right now. It just helps them loosen up and go on my eyelid without me having to try to bend it while I'm trying to put them on. So I'm gonna step away, take 20 minutes maybe to put these bad boys on and I'll be right back. I am back and my eyelashes are on and they are looking better than ever. And I have my Papa Don't Peach lip gloss on from Too Faced. And I know it looks like I'm a hot mess. Well, that's because I did not finish this video and go do anything i did my eyelashes and then i got dressed and left and went to breakfast with my friend caroline and then now i'm finally filming the very end of this video and yeah so that's why there is a change of outfits but this is what the finished makeup look looks like and it is my absolute favorite look so far and it's just something i like to throw on every day and i'm obsessed with it but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some criticism down below. Share this video if you are new or have not done it yet. Feel free to turn on my post notifications to see when I post new stuff. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I love you guys.